What's up guys, welcome to the video. So, I got a bench workout today. Um, have my typical breakfast that I love, oats and eggs. So I'm fueled up, ready to go, excited to lift. So, stay tuned for the training footage. And thanks for clicking on the video and enjoy guys. If you haven't checked out my last video, over um, thoracic mobility, shoulder mobility, go check that out. Um, I address some issues with um, common mobility and pain issues that people are experiencing and then a few exercises to uh, help that out. So I'm just gonna foam roll a little bit and uh, do a lot of like thoracic rotational mobility to open up the T-spine, therefore allowing me to bench more. So get this started, get to benching. So the reason I cross my arms is to get the scapulas out of the way so you can get on the T-spine a little bit better as well as extending. I'll throw a rotational aspect into it so you get an extension as well as rotation in the T-spine. Trying to get the internal rotator muscles to relax so then I can have just a slightly better internal rotation of my shoulder. So pressing down with this arm while I'm pushing back with this arm. So kind of like reciprocal inhibition. I'm working my external rotator muscles so that the internal muscles will relax. And just a little, a little bit this way to external. So then I'll be pushing this way with this arm, pushing down with this arm. To relax the external rotators. This is something I like to do to loosen up my chest, my pec, just a little bit. So I'll place the ball right here on my pec. And then just take my arm through the kind of the range of the motion that I do for bench or for overhead. So just take it all through the range of the motion. And then thoracic mobility, so rotation exercises. Showed these in the last video, go watch. I'm trying to force as much, as much rotation as possible. Time to bench. So that was pretty quick, uh, like five to 10 minutes and uh, very beneficial. It's uh, helped me overcome a lot of shoulder pain issues, um, as well as like pec tightness. My pecs are still very tight, but no more elbow pain, so it's a plus, it's good. What's going on guys? Welcome to the voiceover. So I thought I'd do this um, just to kind of get on a more personal level with you guys, as well as share my thoughts on this workout and kind of what's going on in my life right now. So, getting straight into it, this is one of the two bench days I have during the week. So what you're watching now is my heavy bench day where it's more chest focused and um, yeah, just stripping down here. I try to wear as many layers as possible to the gym just to get sweating, but yeah, side note. Um, yeah, so this is my heavy chest day um, where I do anywhere from three to five reps on the compound bench movement. And my other bench day is more volume, um, more overhead front delt focused. So what I always try to try to do, as I said before, is progressive overload. So this workout, um, I was supposed to do three by five with 165 pounds, you see me benching here, but I can only get it for three by four which is all right because last week I did 3x3 three three with 165, so I'm still progressing. So progressive overload is either increasing your weight, your reps, or your sets. So I think it's very important to, to um, incorporate progressive overload into your training. So you're, you're building your strength, not testing your strength. It's a, it's a common mistake many people make. You can't continue to test your strength. You need to build it before you're just taxing yourself out every single workout. 
Um, but after the compound, I always move on to the slanger or the slingshot you'll see in the upcoming clips. Um, I do progressive overload with the slingshot too. Um, and I only use it usually on my heavy bench day just to get a little bit more volume in after um, these bench sets. But uh, I was doing 185 pounds, 3x3. Three three. So um, next week I'll probably do 185 pounds with a 3x5. So yeah, right here. And I just like the slingshot to overload and um, it boosts your confidence too. So it's probably one of my favorite bench tools. And after all this, I just moved on to bodybuilding, a lot of volume work, as well as back movement. So I usually do two back movements um, just to pull everything back because I get my pecs get so tight from benching that I just need to pull pull it pull it back. Um, and I kind of wanted to talk about too this prep, being in contest prep and. Um, being in the deficit and I'm kind of starting to feel it and ma mainly my compound lifts you know it's getting harder to bench to squat to deadlift but you know I'm killing this prep I'm feeling feeling so good and um I haven't really changed my macros too um drastically um I'm still at 145 grams of protein 145 wow can't talk 145 grams of carbs and 48 grams of fat so doing really well and I wanted to kind of address too is weight loss versus fat loss so I started this prep at 164 pounds which is probably one of the highest I've ever weighed but um I'm down to 158 lowest weigh-in so over the course of five weeks I've dropped about six to seven pounds which is fat loss. So someone addressed to me that they feel like I've been at this weight for a long time and that is true. But usually when I'm competing in powerlifting, I'll do weight loss to make weight for the 158 class. So what I mean is I can easily drop 10 pounds in 3 days if I really wanted to by um water manipulation and depleting myself of carbs. So not eating carbs and that depleting yourself and um losing water weight that is weight loss and what i'm doing in this prep is fat loss so over the course of five weeks i've dropped you know seven pounds and um yeah so what i'm trying to say is that when i would compete for powerlifting i would you know, I could drop from 164 to 158 in, you know, a, a week. So, um, as soon as I ate again, you know, all that weight would come back on, you know, my muscles would be filled with the glycogen again, and, um, my body would take up water, fluids, you know, so, just wanted to address that, just flexing here, being a typical meathead, but thank you guys for your support, thanks for watching, stay tuned for the rest of the video, and I'll talk to you guys later. So pretty solid workout, heavy bench day. Um, wanted to get 165 for five reps, but that just wasn't happening, didn't have a spotter. So went with four reps, three sets of four reps, which is pretty good. I can tell that my bench is getting, it's getting harder to bench. It's harder to, it's getting harder to do all my compounds in this deficit, but overall still happy with that. So I'm gonna get home, cold shower, meditate, food. So, thank you guys for checking out the video, and enjoy the rest of the clips. Alright, time for the post-workout meal. And I've been having this pretty much every day. Homemade pizza, so we got 10-inch tortillas. Just kidding, tortilla. Um, and for this whole, for one tortilla, it has 21 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fat, four grams of protein. So really good macros for this. So low carb pizza. And then I'm gonna top it with some chicken. Um, pico de gallo. Pizza sauce, like half a serving of this. Of course the Franks. Buffalo sauce. And then I'm gonna try out some um, lactose, soy free, so dairy free um, cheese. This is mozzarella. And so for a serving of this, I'll probably do a whole serving, 
It is four grams of car, or I mean four grams of fat, three grams of carbs, five grams of protein. So we'll see how this is. Usually, I don't know how this melts, but again, we'll see. So I will show you the final product. Also, sipping on branch chains, five grams. Um, five grams of glutamine and a gram of acetyl L carnitine or Alcar. So let's get to cooking. So the first step, I always put the tortilla in the preheated oven, 400 degrees, just to crisp it up a little bit. Otherwise, um, if you put the sauce on it, before you like crisp up the tortilla, it gets kind of soggy and gross. So that's my number one tip. All right, right out of the oven. Um, and this cheese melted pretty well. Not sure how it tastes though, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So I will chuck the macros up on the screen. It's like 25 grams of carbs for this whole thing. Pretty low in fat, so very macro friendly. Um, so yeah, I can enjoy this. And it is Mother's Day today, so tell your ma you love her, that you're thankful for her. Shout out to my mom, I love you. And um, yeah, thanks for checking out the video, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Crap. Someone's digging into her steroids. Hey, hey, oh, hey, oh. Mmm, nothing like pizza and steroids. Mm-hmm.